Okay, geo coaching. Uh, Elena and Haley have taken up geo coaching uh, as a way to exercise and pass the time on weekends. Geo coaching is a real world outdoor treasure hunting game that requires the use of GPS enabled devices. Okay, it's interesting. Starting from point A, so here's point A. Point A here. Uh, starting from point A, uh, Elena and Haley walk to point B and then around the lake to point D and then back to point E and then back to point A. Uh, the following information is provided. What is the total length of their walk? So we have to find all of these distances. Okay, so the dashed lines are just there to help us with the measurements. They're not, we're not walking on the dashed lines. It's only the solid lines that we're walking. So Let's see what information is given here. The following information provided. Point C is the center of the circle, represents the lake. A, C, E, and B, C, D. A, C, E, and B, C, D are similar isosceles triangles. Okay, that tells us that these two triangles are similar. I can write proportions. That's going to help me. I need that. For, so 40 degrees, that's in the picture. A, C is 2150. So A, C is the big side is 2150. And this is 650 is BD. So I can write a proportion now. I can say small over big, right? Small over big. So small base over big base. So 650, small base over big base, 1470.68. So small on top, big on the bottom. Small, now this is the small triangle here. So small. I don't know what that is, but that's, that's the radius, right? That's the radius. Okay, so that's what I'm looking for. I need that to find the arc length, right? Because I'm going to find the arc length. I need to find the circumference. So I need the radius. So if this is the small and the big one, AC is given. It's 2150. 2150. So now I can find the radius. That's how I find the radius. I use this part. The similar triangles. It means I can write a proportion. So the radius is going to be 650. 650 times 2150 equals divided by 1470.68 equals 950.24. meters. Okay, now I think that's the hardest part, I think. Now let's find the arc length. So if that's, this is 40 degrees, then this whole angle here is 320 degrees. That's what we're walking. Right? They have to add up to 360. So it's almost almost a whole circle. So the arc length formula is 320 degrees out of 360. It's almost the whole way around. Equals the arc length is what we're looking for. Divided by the circumference, which is 2 times pi times r, which we found 950. 0.24. So let's find that arc length. So the arc length is it's calculated. So nine fifty. There's my radius times two equals times pi equals times three twenty equals divided by three sixty equals five thousand three hundred seven point one five thousand. 307.1 meters, right? That's five kilometers. Okay, so we have this whole thing. And now, uh, what's this length? What is AB? So if AC, uh, so AB equals, well, let's write an equation. So AB equals AC minus AB. So AB equals AB, so this length is the whole thing, which is 20 AC, we know it, 2150, equals 2150 minus the radius, right, which is 950.24. So this whole thing, 2150 minus the radius, is this part. And we do that twice. So that's 950.24. And let's figure that out. 950.24. 950.24, oops, minus 2150, I did it in the wrong order. It's 199.76, so 1199, wait, let's write that again, it's 1199. 
0.76 meters. So that's, I can write it over here, 1199.76. This is also 1199.76. And this whole thing was 5,507, 5307. Now I, I can find the total distance. Just add up all those numbers. So total distance is going to be 1199.76 plus the arc length 5307.1 plus this again 1199.76 plus we're back at E 1470. 0.68 meters and when we add all that up we get a total of 9177.3 meters which is approximately 9.2 kilometers.